favorite eyeshadow products of 2023. Um, I think you would agree with me when I say that eyeshadow palettes have become very, very unexciting, kind of uninspiring even. I think we had the peak of eyeshadow palettes with all those early Urban Decay uh, Naked uh, palettes, Naked 3, Naked 4 and so on, and N Naked Smoky, I think it was, and Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, and um, Natasha Denona's early palettes, you know, the Bieber palette and so on, all those, you know, really, really, Pat McGrath, you know, the first few uh, Mothership palettes, I think those were the peak days of the eyeshadow palette. And now they've become kind of repetitive, which is natural, uh, saturated, again natural, downright boring, possibly also natural. So I have shifted to, because I have enough and more neutral and everyday colours, and pretty much yeah, all the colours, I've shifted entirely to multi-chrome eyeshadows. And one of multi-chrome brands on my list for a very long time has been Cleona Cosmetics. And this year I treated myself to 18 of their eyeshadows. Look at the Lord. Oh my God. The shift is absolutely insane. I bought one iridescent multi-chrome, the rest are all regular stained glass. Jeweled multi-chromes, these are. I know some of the shades seem rather similar to you at first glance. They're not, I assure you. Detailed video, including swatches, coming very shortly. I am, you know, wearing one of the shades on my eyelids right now, which will appear only when I come really closer to the camera. When I do the swatches, you can see that the shades are all quite different. So that absolute favourite. I think Cleona has just replaced the Pastel Roses as my absolute favourite Monte Chrome eyeshadow right there. Now the Pastel Roses from the UK was my favourite eyeshadow brand discovery of last year. They're still a favourite, a favourite, but the absolute favourite is now Cleona. Now another UK based brand, Monte Chrome brand that I discovered recently is Magical Makeup UK. And this is their third eye palette, people. And those are the shades. I've just started playing with these. I haven't touched this eyeshadow one bit. This one works very, very well on me. It, it, it actually includes a green and purple, which is quite a rare thing, you know. Uh, this one is similar uh, uh, somewhat to clear up shard for me, but there is also an element of a lighter, hotter pink in there, which I quite like. This is a, a more, you know, basic everyday neutral eyeshadow, actually, with multi chrome. It goes from a neutral orange-ish, color a neutral color to pink on me this was really scary at first you know because it looked lime green to me and then you know it went into a sort of tealy blue which i quite liked this is more of an inner corner or a highlighter shade for me this one i haven't dared to touch but you know i like the formula this or clear now clear now is i mean i'll do a ranking at the end uh, but, uh, you know, this isn't bad at all, and I like different colour. I like that Cleona doesn't have this shade at all, you know, this kind of shade, or at least I haven't seen it. And, you know, I love the idea of a whole multi-chrome palette. You don't have to go about hunting for different kinds of shades, yeah? Um, uh, when you do wine your single eyeshadows, you know, a lot more annoying. More people should do completely multi-chrome eyeshadow palettes. Now, I discovered another US-based brand called Ursus Makeup. Uh, a run, it's a small business run by a lovely girl who recommended this palette for me. This is their butterfly glaze palette. Hang on, let me try and open that. Oh, my hand hurts. And those are the eyeshadows, and all are iridescent multi-chromes. All are iridescent. I know they look pastel, but you know they're iridescent. There's just that you know a, a very translucent shift of color. They work well on their own on my skin. You know, very subtle effect. Uh, on a pure, pure, you know, opaque white base, uh, they give you more of a, a fluorescent look. On a black base, the colors really, really, really pop. So you can, you know, tone it up or tone it down with iridescent multigrams. I love that there's a whole palette of iridescent multigrams. I think it sort of satisfied, satisfies my entire iridescent multigram want, you know, or lust for them. And the formula is nice. They're soft. It doesn't break the bank. Very easy budget there and uh, they ship worldwide. All these three brands ship, ship worldwide. So ranking wise, I think I will go, go with Cleona first and I definitely want more Cleona products, more Cleona shades. I've got 18, I know, but I want another 18 already. Um, uh, in second position, I would put both Magical Makeup and Ursus Tide here in second place. So swatches and separate video reviews of each of these coming shortly, sometime next year. 
Uh, very quickly, those are my three favorite eyeshadow brands, Bix, products, palettes, singles uh, for 2023. Which has been your favorite eyeshadow for 2023? Do tell me in the comments below. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And I'll speak to you soon.